Uh, Hawkeye. <laughs> Hey, what is up, guys? It's your boy Michelangelo here, bringing you another video. So, we're back for some more Tokyo Revengers Season 2, Episode 12 here today. Previous episode was absolutely insane. It left me in utter shock, the latter half of it especially. Because through and through, the last episode, we were winning. The biggest W we took was Kisaki being officially kicked out of Toe Man by Mikey, bro. And then we get to the latter half, you know, everything is okay. Mikey gifted us a bike, you know, that uh, Shinichiro got parts for and everything. And him and Draken decided to fix up the bike and give it to... Uh, uh, you know, to uh, Takamichi as a gift, you know. Um, we said our goodbyes to Mitsuya. We went to Naoto, told him to take care of Hina in the meantime as we peace out. Shook his hand, went back to the present. We were in a suit. Not only that, we were attending a funeral. Whose funeral? Freaking Mitsuya's funeral, bro. With Luna and Mana there, his sisters. Like, bro, I don't understand. Every time we think we're winning, we end up losing in the present. Like, we're winning in the past. We fix everything we need to do. Go back to the present. It's all even, it's much, much worse. Like, bro, I can't, Takemichi cannot catch a break, bro. Like, can we catch one W? Like, uh, anyway, I don't know what happened to Mitsuya. Um, hoping to find out the information in this particular episode and see, like, exactly what's going on here and how exactly he died, you know? Um, but man, I, I can't believe this. I honestly can't believe this. Uh, we got, this is the second last episode, so next week will be the last one. So, I... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's going on anymore, bro. Like, <laughs> I really don't know. Anyway, I I've spoken enough. That's enough of the recap. I'm not even going to waste any time. I am utterly anticipating to see exactly what happened to Mitsuya and find out more information about this whole situation. So I've spoken enough, ladies and gentlemen. Without any further ado, let's jump right in. Three, two, one, go. What happened? How? Bro, this is so crazy. That's... That's him. That's his body. Tokyo Manji Gang officers uh, found strangled... Body identified as Takashi Mitsuya. He was strangled to death. And it seems like he's not the only one. Because it says Tokyo Manji Gang officer. Oh, oh, oh I, I thought it said officers. Oh, no. He, it's just him. My bad. My bad. I read that wrong. So he was strangled to death? But why and by who? I think I know who did it. I'm going to take a wild guess and say Kisaki. Anyway, let's see if I'm right. Hinata... Tachibana dies in possible gang-related car accident. Oh my god. Bro! How many times are we gonna do this? How many times are we gonna go through this? Oh my god. Which means that Akun is also dead, probably. Draken is also dead, probably. Right? Nothing has changed! Why? It's... Bro, I'm telling you. The only way this ends is killing Kisaki. I know that Takemichi is supposed to be a kind-hearted, you know, person, you know, who doesn't necessarily fight with his fists, but with his emotions and his heart, right? But at the same time, guns solve problems. <laughs> I'm not trying to advocate for gun violence or anything, but bro, what's the other alternative? They don't have to kill him with a gun. You can even beat him to death, bro. Like, that's the only way this ends. I feel like Kisaki has to go for us to be okay. That's just me. Nothing has changed. The only thing that's changed is that Takemichi is free. He's no longer inc uh, incarcerated. He's a free man. Damn, bro. Chief Fuyu too. Is he alive? Because he got shot by Kisaki the, the last time in the present. So is Chief Fuyu still alive? Where is Naoto as well? What is that key for? So I guess he's no longer a big shot in Toe Man or anything like that. He's practically back to square one in a sense. Although his, his apartment is more cleaner, I guess. Are we starting from zero? What? Oh, the picture! The last one he took. Naoto? 
At least Naruto always comes back. In, he, he always comes in clutch in the present. Thank goodness. Naruto, break it down for me. What happened? Yes. And we failed each time, clearly. It's the worst one! <sighs> so apart from Mitsuya dying, what else is the problem? But all the major members of Tokyo Manji, they're all... Uh, yo! All of them? So we're talking Draken, we're talking Mikey, Smiling Captain, like what? Pachin, Payan, all of them? Hawkeye as well? Everyone? God damn, bro. Okay, let's see how this goes. So, okay. Uh, Last Order is the name of this episode. So everybody in this picture is dead. Mitsuya, Draken, Hakai, Mikey, Chifuyu. Damn. Shot and killed. Damn. Burned to death. Strangled, okay. Stabbed to death. Bro. Kazu Kazutora, Haruki, Hayashida, and all the others have been murdered too. Even Kazutora? What about Mikey? You didn't say anything about Mikey. Please tell me Mikey is not in, is not responsible for this because I remember in the last timeline, Kazutora mentioned that uh, Mikey was going after uh, members of Toman before, right? Um, and that's when, when at the dinner he murdered Pachin and Payan, right? He had them murdered. He was going after his closest friends because he didn't trust them anymore. Please tell me he's not the one responsible. Even Ki- Whoa, 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 whoa! I didn't even read that! Even Kisaki's been murdered?! No way! Bro, what is this timeline? That's the question. Is Mikey? What about Mikey now? Okay. I'm braced. Mikey! And he's got black hair now? Yo! Did he dye his hair? Okay. Wow! Okay, bro, hold up. Let's go back a bit. I want to see that tattoo. It's the same one that, uh, Draken. It's, it's the dragon tattoo. Mikey is the one responsible. So we're going to finally get to see Mikey in the present. He found it on the table. It was delivered to... It's not a Japan... From the Philippines? Hold up a second. I remember in the previous episode, Mikey mentioned that his brother Shinichiro um, got the motorcycle parts uh, for the for the bike he gave um, Takemichi, right? That Draken and uh, Mikey were fixing for Takemichi. He got the parts from Philippines, right? So maybe that's the connection here, if I'm not mistaken. Is Mikey in the Philippines? Meet me on January 20th at the place I told you about. Mikey. It's got to be Mikey. Mikey. Philippines, right? Oh. The keys to the my, the motorcycle. It's got to be Mikey. Because they talk. Bro, big brain. Big brain, Michael. Big brain. I got a big brain. So we're going to the Philippines. Let's go. Bro, what jungle is this? What part of Temple Run is this? <laughs> Bro, are we actually gonna get to see Mikey finally in the present? I like I like his black hair. He looks cool with black hair. Yep. Facts. It'll be the first time he meets him in the present or in the future. That's the question. Probably not. Or is he bringing you? Is he bringing us here to kill us? I hope not. Exactly. Exactly. That's what I was saying. Takemichi and I are on the same page. Exactly, bro. This is exactly what I was thinking. It's already too late now. Oh. That's the place. That's the place that Shinichiro found the parts. Oh. Oh. He's here. Mikey. There he is. Oh my god. Yeah. 
Bro, he looks a lot like his brother. Now in the present. The haircut and everything. Wow. Look at him. This is shocking to me because I, I never thought I'd see Mikey in the, in the present. It's throwing me off that he has black hair now. They are the same? Takemichi. What if he's what if he's brought us here to kill us? <laughs> this is no time to be smiling, bro. This man is a murderer, remember Takemichi? A favor. Wow. Is he though? Uh oh. Because I remember in the previous episode, he did mention that he wanted uh, Takemichi to, you know, be that anchor for him, like the way his brother was, I guess, for him. But I guess since, you know, since uh, things work differently when Takemichi switches bodies or rather uh, jumps back from uh, the present to the past, like, you know, his his past body, you know, is 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 uh, is different. You know, it has a different... I don't know how it works specifically, but I know they mentioned it in season one. Like, things end up so weird. Like, you remember when um, Takemichi ended up in, um, you know, in, in a bedroom with Emma? You guys remember that? So, I, I don't know. That that version of him is different, right? Like, things end up being so different, you know? Also, I'm just realizing that the person in the ending, you know, the ending song of this season, it was actually Mikey this whole time standing there, you know? Because in the ending song that plays when uh, Suzuha is running and everything... The person who at the ending standing on all this, you know, junk and everything. I guess it was Mikey this whole time. I didn't even realize, man. I thought it was his brother, but I guess it is him. <laughs> Damn! Wow! Draken with black hair? This is throwing me off, bro. Is that Mitsuya? Mitria with long hair? Bro, this this is also weird. They didn't. So they were trying to protect Takemichi. Bro. Who is this Mikey, bro? Who are you, sir? I don't remember you. Who is this? This is an imposter, bro. What? How? Please tell me he's not gonna ask him to kill him. Oh my god. He wants Takemichi to kill him? There's no way Takemichi's gonna do that. There's no way. There's no way. Wow. He burned Hakai to death. He's the one responsible for that. Wow, and Hakai has blonde hair. Is that bro? These different versions of them, I swear, it's it's crazy to see them with all with different kind kind of hair each time. Look at look at freaking Mikey looking like Michael Morbius over here with his long hair. <laughs> oh, Hakai. 
He killed him. Bro, he's gonna kick him, isn't he? Damn! What? Chifuyu knew that he'd look for him. Oh, because Chifuyu knows that he travels back through. Oh my god. His eyes never lie. Oh. God, Chifuyu, bro. Oh my god. Mikey's even crying. He can't do it. This is so sad, bro. Or I kill you. Or you- uh, Damn. Oh, Mikey. What happened, man? He's not gonna pull the trigger. He's not gonna do it. Oh! Naoto! Did now He shot him in the- Naoto! That's the only other person I could think of that just did that- Oh my- Oh! Bro, everyone is dead now! Everyone in Toman is dead now! Oh my god. Aw, oh, bro. He's alive, bro? Bro, how are you? Damn, bro, this is really sad. First of all, I'm trying to question how this man is still talking with a gunshot to the head, though. But anyway, uh, let's keep going, man. This is pretty heartbreaking right here. Is he gonna tell? He doesn't believe him. Oh, Mikey. Oh, he's done. He's gone. Oh, from the first moment they met. Oh, man. What's the new goal now? Look at the... Oh, look at the look. Oh, bro. This episode was insane. What is Takemichi's new goal now? Bro, I don't even know where to begin with this particular episode. It it was just a whole roller coaster of emotions. I never thought I'd see the day when Mikey would go so dark like that, man. Are you kidding me? This man killed every single member. Of, first of all, I I I've just I have to give him a W though for killing Kisaki. There I cannot complain. <laughs> We don't care about Kisaki. Um, the rest of the members of Tomando, Draken, Mitsuya, like, bro, I can't believe it, man. Hakai and Chifuyu especially, man. Like, in that moment with a gun pointed right at his head by, you know, by Mikey, he told him that Takemichi would look for him and he should look in his eyes because they'll look exactly like they did back then, you know? And right when he was pointing the gun at Takemichi's head, Mikey that is, like he, he could see, you know, like, oh man. And he had the safety on, which means he was not gonna do it. He couldn't do it, you know? I still don't understand how, you know, uh, Naoto shot him in the head and he was still able to talk for a bit before, you know, that that didn't make any sense to me. I mean, cause it's a headshot, bro. Like it's one and done, you know? It's not like a, it's not like a shoulder shot or, or a stomach shot, you know, like, it, anyway. <laughs> It, this was crazy. Now, with that look in Takamichi's eyes at the end there, he's... I don't know what the new goal is going to be for him now, you know? Like, he seemed very, you know, his... Like, 
It's like his resolve and conviction just elevated, you know, with that look in his eyes, you know, like he needs to do something. He needs to save everybody, you know, because goddamn, bro, so many people are dead. Everybody is dead. He's the only one left now, you know? Hina is dead. Akun is, I, okay, I'm sure Akun is dead, right? Mikey's now dead, you know, he's joined the, you know, Draken, Mitsuya, Hakai, you know, all the members of, of Toman. Like, it's crazy to me. Man, I don't know. I don't know what we need to do. Honestly, I don't know what we need to do to make this end. You know, because even clearly now, killing Kisaki, still, I guess you know, because since Mikey took care of that, kill, killing Kisaki, I guess, doesn't change anything. You know. So I don't. I don't know. I really don't know what what we do now. I really don't know where we go from here. But anyway, we have one more episode left next week. I cannot wait to check it out and see how things play out. But man, this was a crazy episode. Let me know what your thoughts are down below in the comment section regarding it, guys. And I guess we'll take it from there. Uh, but anyway, if you enjoyed my reaction to this particular episode, I'd really appreciate it if you guys could subscribe to the channel. It really does help out a lot. Also, give the video a thumbs up for the hype of Tokyo Revengers. This was an insane episode. Also, make sure to hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my free reaction videos, live streams, or walkthroughs. You can also feel free to follow me on all my uh, social media, Twitter and Instagram. Links to that will be down below in the description of this particular video. You can also feel free to join our Discord. Link to that will be down below in the description of this particular video as well. Well, you can also feel free to become a channel member or a Patreon by clicking a link down below in the description of this particular video to support your boy, and you always get a shout out in every single one of my videos. But until then, guys, please do me a favor, take care of each other, peace out, and I'll see you guys next time.